Hello and welcome to another Premier Draft Neon Dynasty Best of One Kamigawa edition here. I'm uh, I'm enjoying this format so far. I'm really I really am, and uh, I I just I just want to play more and more and more. Why not share it with you guys? Why not share it here on YouTube? Let's get into it. Table is already ready. Perfect. Go on. What can we get? I want to I want a Tesseret Tesseret or. A Ganjo Seed of the Empire. Mm hmm. That's a pretty good card, right? It's a land and also a solid removal. This is also a great card. Cheaper for. I mean, this card is just fantastic. Wow. Yeah, this card is insanely good. Just a cheap destruction effect. Um, there we have another black removal. Uh, this card is alright. Nothing special, like a combat trick. The hacker, the searchlight. So it's between, it's between these two, huh? The land, man, this is tough. I mean, in constructed, of course, it's Aganjo. The flexibility to play it as a land. Ah, Assassin's Ink, though. Free mana, just destroy anything. I kind of have to pick that up. I feel like I'll pass the Aganjo onwards. Um, for now. I think this is just too strong. This, this could theoretically just cost two mana. Alright, what do we have here? Another lethal, an, another black removal. I love the synthesizer, that cards. I mean, yeah, I think I think it's good. Even though I, <laughs> it was a little bad for me in the other drafts, in the Gruel draft that I did. Um, but it was awkward there sometimes, yeah. Uh, this pack is kind of unexciting. I don't really see anything appealing. The Saga is okay. Yeah, this is okay, but two color, this is pretty bad. The, the automaton, okay, nothing special. I think the fly suit is, is pretty good. Definitely not too bad, but I mean, here's just nothing in the pack, really. It's just it's just an easy leafy exploit. Who are we? Ooh, okay, okay. We can. We already have one card that matters with with artifacts and enchantments, and this one does too. Five and a four for it. And this is a battlefield makes a 2 2 or attacks. That's really, really good. That's a nice payoff. Uh, I'm definitely going to pick that up here. I already drafted black white once, and it was pretty pretty easy, I, I'd say, to have artifact and enchantment on the battlefield. So I'm definitely excited about this pick here. And there's nothing in black that I'm looking to play. The octopus is okay. It's a decent card. There's some blue stuff here. I like the specialist. I think that one's really good. But anyway, I'm gonna pick the I'm gonna pick the payoff here. Drafting black white, hopefully. Drying out a little bit here. Got one free death touch, one for reach, not bad. Some blue cards. These two black cards don't really excite me. I'm not trying to do ninja things. Right now at least. I mean we could pick up this card, but could be good, but it's probably gonna be medium. Yeah, I mean, I could pick it up, but maybe I should maybe I should go into another color here with one of these cards. Modern Age, enchantment creature, hills with Assassin's Ink. Or we could go into green black. One of these green cards. It's a tough pick. <laughs> we have to we have to branch out here a little bit. I do like this this reach enchantment uh, equipment. I think it's pretty good. All right, blue seems to be the way. We can also stay colorless here with a kunai. Not the worst card, especially if we're trying to do our little enchantment artifact synergies. Yeah, I don't mind that. I mean, we have some solid blue cards. Um, but the kunai is, is always going to be end up end up in, in, in our deck. All right, we have a payoff for enchantment. Like, white is really not open. We, we definitely see that. It seems like blue-black might be what we should be doing. Um, the long reach of night. Each opponent sacks a creature. Da, da, da. So, so you either discard two, and then you get a 0-4 menace creature that gets bigger. I mean, this card is good. It's just a decent card. But I, go, I could also just pick up um, one of these blue cards. Hmm. There's also a good green card. This pack is kind of strong. But yeah, blue-black does seem like the, the thing we should be doing here. I do like the 1-1 one, one the most, I think. 
if we're gonna do the ninjutsu thing. Maybe it's the thief. I'm gonna pick the thief. I'm not sure. Like usually you wanna have your enabler first. There's another one more nice. Um yeah, I'm definitely picking that. Again, white is completely shot. I mean we see a free two here, but it's it's kinda relevant. Black is also kinda shot, I gotta say. Besides the leafy exploit and the assassin's ink, we haven't seen much of anything. Another kunai. Hmm. I thought this card is good, but we, we're seeing it. Nobody's picking it. It's colorless. It's, a, it's, a, it's not bad, I think. Reliquary is nice in a black-white deck, for sure. Crab is just a solid card. Early counter spell, late game threat. Hmm. Crab, Reliquary, Construct. Don't see that right now. Kunai. Whew. I, I guess I'll take the crap. It's, I don't know. Maybe I should have taken the kunai. It's close. There's another lethal exploit. I guess I'll pick that up. The beetle isn't the worst. It's it's really nice if you get to uh, ninjutsu it. So you get to enter the battlefield trigger again. But I mean, getting a 1-1 one -one through is not the easiest task. There's a dragonfly suit. If we're trying to do black-white, it's nice to have an artifact laying around. But I can also just pick up the decoy. This card has been fine for me. And white, really, I don't know. I, I wish we could make it work, but I'll just pick up the decoy. Another decoy, what is this? You may search your life for an aura or shrine card. Five mana, free two. Shrine or aura. Yeah, I don't have any of those right now. Um, guess I'll pick the bargain. Not sure. Nothing. Nothing good for us there. Synthesizer still in the pack, huh? Yeah, I don't think this is a good ninja card. Um, the mineralic sphere. But I guess in the end we only get like two good ninja cards here. The two blue ones. We didn't wheel anything really. We're kind of all over the place right now. We have good black removal. I'm looking to play black. That is certain. I, 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 at least I would like to play black at the end of this draft. Wow, last pick. What? Am I am I overrating this card? What do you guys think? Is this card not as good as I think? I mean, it's not amazing or anything, but it's a colorless artifact. So artifact synergies. It costs one mana. Um, to and you can break up the mana to deal free damage. I mean, it seems pretty good to me. All right, we got uh, a black card draw spell. Uh, red, red. Okay, it's just not that good. March is not good. Um, Kumano is okay. Another captain. White has um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big fan of this card. Like a two twos are usually outsized in in turn six. So your opponent has one, two, three, and what are you doing with your two twos, you know? So you gotta use this card with some pump effects, I suppose. You had a circuit mender, two three, draws a card when it dies. Pretty okay. Nothing special. I guess that's the pickup. Yeah. This pack is kinda underwhelming. We're perhaps yeah, we're getting to pick the best card perhaps out of this pack here. With the mender. All right, all right, what do we got? We got a nice black-white enchantment artifact payoff. Draws a card. Unit attacks, return to a creature or vehicle. If mana we have two or less. Vehicle or creature. Mm, not looking to have many of those right now. There's a blue card if you're trying to do a blue thing. <laughs> um, I mean, we only have one white card after all. We have one green card. Um, the Kami is nice, I gotta say. I like the Kami. We just we, we we're just light on enchantments right now. I think I'm still gonna pick it. I, I think it's between Kami and Koi. Um, and the Kami has more upside, I think. The free for it draws a card and gains a life is is really good. There's an enchantment I could pick up. Another enchantment. Voltage search. Some red cards coming around. <laughs> Another kunai. Light pause. When I play auras, I don't have a single aura right now. Sadly. Yeah, it's just gonna be the hacker. Makes sense. We, we're sort of assembling it. Maybe we have a ninja deck at the end. Hacker is going to be good there. And it's not the worst card on itself. 
can you can play it on turn two and be fine. Gets one person for each artifact or enchantment card in your graveyard. Hmm. Artifact rat. Okiba Reckoner Raid. That's good with um, ninjas. Twisted Embrace. Enchant artifact or creature you control. It gets one plus one if it's a creature. And destroy an opposing creature. I mean, that is the destroy effect on four mana in this set. Hard to pass that up. Um, usually always... Always good cards like these, of course. I mean, four mana destroy a thing. It's a little reliant on you having a creature out, I suppose. But it's also an enchantment for our enchantment synergies, which is important. Spirited Companion. I love that card. It's so good. Um, blue has some counter spell action, and the rest is whatever. Damn. Honestly, I'm going to pick it. We're not going to see any white, though, in pack free. It's so good. It's so much better than the rest. Like, these cards are all replaceable. Kamigawa is such a high power level set that I think it's fine to hatch a little bit, you know, because you're going to get playables. You're going you're gonna to have 23 solid playables most of the time because there's so many playables in this set. Um, yeah. We got some decent removal. Ooh, okay, 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 never mind. Not playing blue, and uh, not playing white, I guess. Yeah, this card is pretty ridiculous. It's like a mold drifter, it buys you time on the first chapter. I mean, this card is just fantastic. If you ever get to draw four cards, like, what the heck? It's insane. Then we also have specialist, which I would like. Yeah, all right, all right. It was like a blue-black control deck, I suppose. Pick another Kami, sure. Yeah, nothing nothing else really. So let's sort the stack by mana cost, shall we? Um, one drop, three drops here, two drops over there, four drops here. I like the companion. It's good with Ninjitsu. It's a nice pickup. Nice late pickup. All right, this deck looks decent. We're just like a good stuff deck right now. Not really synergistic much. No, not really. Now we have three enchantments, which is better than, better than nothing. We have a good amount of artifacts. Looking to pick up some modern ages maybe to get more um, enchantments for the Kami. I love the Kunais. I'm definitely going to play two, I think, in this deck. You are already dead. Hmm. It's good with uh, Searchlight Companion and Paper Crafting. Uh, it's not terrible. Definitely don't like this card. I mean, it fetches up a removal, I guess. That's so slow. It fetches us this this aura here. And that's the only target right now? Mm, no. I'm not sure if I'm playing this. Put it in the sideboard for now. Network Terminal Brute. I can't see myself playing this in a main deck. I don't think there's enough one toughness to justify. And on the other hand, like it, we're not aggressive enough, so pick up the brute suit. I'm probably not gonna play it though. I'm just gonna Okay, fine. I don't I'm never gonna play that card, but maybe, maybe. Turn a creature vehicle. If you control an artifact and enchantment, I can make it too bigger. I'll pick the trash bot. This seemed like a decent card. It's a decent blocker. I mean, decent. 04 is not great. But it grows and grows. And has trampled at some point. Games go long. There's an enchantment. That's probably going to be my pick, huh? This pack is also pretty underwhelming. Cover Tactician. We don't... I mean, we have some artifacts we can play with it for free. It's fine. <laughs> it's nothing special. It's like it's like an okay card. I think the Umezawa. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I think. I mean, if the opponent has one toughness creatures, this is great. Of course, you can get some. You can earn some life, and later on you get a two free creature. It's not amazing. It's it's a little similar to Modern Age, I guess. Um. Yeah. Let's see. 
It can be really good. And it can also push a lot of damage in the late game. If you just want to plus two plus two, plus two plus two, make attacks available to you that you otherwise wouldn't have. And yeah, it's an enchantment, which is exactly what we're trying to get. Oh, another Naomi. Yeah. Damn. Huh, I wonder if I can splash him. How do I have any fixing? I do have this terminal. Yeah, I mean, I could just be blue black splash this thing. There's not much in this pack. There's a counter spell, which is okay. The network disruptor, I don't even know how much. Like, we have two ninjas right now. We don't really have full on ninja deck. We're more like a control deck. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick this one now. Yeah. Then trying to splash it. <gasps> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay. Third pick. Junji the Midnight Sky. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that. <clears throat> oh, wow. What the heck? At the beginning of your end step, choose target permanent card in your graveyard. You may sacrifice a permanent that shares a card type of the chosen card. If you do, return the chosen card from your graveyard to the battlefield and gains. If this permanent would leave the battle exile instead. So I can turn small artifacts into big artifacts. I can turn creatures into creatures. But I can't like do it all over again all the time. There's another spirited companion. <laughs> Best card. Grave lighter. Oof, I don't know. This card seems weird. Um, I'm just gonna pick the grave lighter. I don't I don't know. This is this is too much for my I can't comprehend this card. Like, maybe we get to do some fancy things, yeah, but we're already... If I'm splashing white anyways, then we're already sitting on, like, four or five drops, and I don't want to have too many of those. Yeah, this card is good. Grave Lighter. Can just draw a card, which is a free mana 2 to fly that draws a card. Or we both sack a creature. I mean, I'm gonna pick that, I guess. It's not that amazing in my deck, though. Silver Fur Master, and the rest of the pack is kind of whatever. And yeah, my deck is kind of weird. I'm like a blue-black control deck. Honestly, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm better off picking this. <laughs> wow, that would be kind of insane, huh? But yeah, this is just like a two-two that pumps like two creatures. Doesn't really do anything for my deck. This is this is crazy, I know. This looks crazy to you probably, but I think it's right. I wish I could take the modern age, but I kinda need the fixing, I think. Ah, modern age is, is kinda exactly what I'm looking for, and it's sort of also fixing. Games go long, right? I wish I could pick one land up that would be nice energy blade no no Mizumi blade blesser that cuts fine modified creatures to control tennis stacks they didn't have defend. I'll just pick this one this card is okay nothing special suit up this card I don't have any discard, do I? Do I have more auras now? Just pick this one. Ninja or rogue? Ninja. Ninja. It's like two ninjas. Ahem. <clears throat> No fixing besides that network terminal in my sideboard. I could just not play him, I guess. But they're kind of like pretty good in my deck. Six, six. 
Hmm, let's see, let's see. I don't know, how, how many of these lands are in the packs? They, I don't see that many dual lands. Someone's picking them up. Um, mm -hmm. So, what do I not like? <sighs> Gotta cut five cards. I'm not a fan of the Goshen time. It's pretty bad. Probably has, has to go. Maybe I'll cut the little ninja package. I like cut the disruptor. And this is this is an O4 flying blocker. And an enchantment. Papercraft decoy mediocre. Prosperous thief. Yeah, I probably want to keep that in my deck. It seems just like a fine card. Helps splashing too. Makes mana. Yeah, maybe the d decoy has to leave. Maybe one of the kunais has to leave too. Because I don't have, like, if the more creatures I got. 16 creatures right now. I guess I have, I have a decent amount, I guess. The blade blesser could go. A lot of free drops. I definitely got a shave on the free drops. They all have their merits. We have a lot of uncommon free drops as well. Um, I think I will have to shave on one of these two. Um, maybe even the companion. I can't really shave the terminal. Menda is good enough. This thing seems pretty decent in my deck. I would, I would guess. Because I have a lot of artifacts. Companion. What's the synergies with the companion? I guess we have some ninjutsu. Uh, we can put like this on it. It's an artifact. Could also kick out the crab. Grave lighter. I don't have that much to sacrifice, I guess. Maybe the grave lighter was the wrong pickup. Yeah. Maybe Maybe it's not that good in my deck. I kind of only have decent creatures besides his companion, so I don't want to sack them necessarily. Um, uh, hmm. Maybe this is not good enough because it's not good in the early game. It's tough. But yeah, it just doesn't attack in the early game. It's just a blocker. I'm not sure. One more cut to make. Let's get a look at the mana base. I mean, I could play 16 lands, but probably not. I think I like all the these cards. I think I like two kunai. I could go down to one. Maybe I should go down to one. Let's try the 04. Let's try it. We can always make switches afterwards. Um, how's the mana configuration? 10, 8, 2. Alright, yeah, let's just play 8 of these. Do I, should I just play one, one planes, maybe? One planes enough. Treasure maker and the terminal and a good amount of card draw. Nah, 2, two is probably a good number. 7, yeah. I wish I had like one duel that would have made the mana a little bit more chill. Maybe this is just a bad one. How many enchantments do I have by now? One, two, three, four, five. Only five. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. No more enchantments in the sideboard. Hmm. Okay. A little bit of a problem, I guess. Only six. Hmm. I mean, six is six. Is six. Anyways, that was a long deck building. All right. <clears throat> Let's go. We can always make changes in between the games. So that's, that's the nice part about this. And we're playing best of one, so no sideboarding, no... Don't have to think about that. <clears throat> all right, all right.
point. This card has such a low ceiling to play it, because you can always just cycle it for one blue. It's pretty nice. I feel like stuck if you have too much stuff to do. Ahem. <clears throat> What is this on green? Okay. Oh, yeah. let's play that, I guess. Discard the island. Could discard this next turn, theoretically. I'll just discard another island. Right. Put this on green white. <clears throat> no free drop. Because I'm just gonna kill that off. It's like makes it one one every turn. Not a fan. Oh sweet, we get to kill that for value. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, I'm not quite aware how many how many one toughest creatures there are, but. I mean, if there's a decent amount of one toughness creatures that see play, this card is pretty good, yeah. Or can be pretty good. 4-4 four, for four, 4. Okay, um, so theoretically I could give this minus 1, minus 1, but then this wouldn't be enough. So we'll just give this 2 plus 2. I could have also given myself 2 life. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't quite considering that, was I? It's a little fast there. Because who's the beat down here in this situation? It's not quite clear. I mean, I have the bigger board position, I suppose. My opponent just has a 4-4. We have, like, these two and this coming. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of this card. If I'm in a 3-4 draw card, get alive. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Opponent's... Okay. Wanting, wanting to raise here, huh? Hmm. It's my only artifact in play. Probably want to kill this, huh? Don't want to hit it. Take a hit for five. I'm gonna two for one myself to do it, unfortunately. But such is life. Uh, uh, ooh, nice. That's 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 nice because now this triggers. Six mana pass. I'm gonna see what happens, I guess. Trigger. I don't quite know what this flavor is here with the. Why does this card, which is a black card, only spent. Maybe someone in sh maybe someone in the comments can tell me why does a black card make instant sorcery spear? That's that's usually like a blue thing. Yeah. Uh, put it on here. Off. 
Seven life, you say? One man up. Block here, take five s infinite damage. I also have three damage there. All right, looks like our first W. Ahem. <clears throat> Very nice. Deck is doing well. The runaway trash bot was a 1 4 on turn 7. Eh. Not very convincing. 1 4 on turn 7 is not what I'm looking for in a card. And we had some card draw, we had some things going on. I guess my opponent never traded with any of our things. I'll, I'll try it again, but that was, in that one sample size, that card did not look good. <clears throat> and in the end, I mean, how, how much cards are we going to put in our graveyard? It, it's really got to happen through trade most of the time. Artifact and enchantments just don't get go that easily into the graveyard. If I mean, if, if more things would have traded, and then with the kunai also goes into the graveyard, then it becomes a free for already. But I mean, in the end, we're also not talking about like an insane card. Like a free mana free for trample is decent, but if that's the average, then like, if that's the the ceiling sort of, that's not great. You know, I don't want to have a free mana o four on turn three. I think I'd rather have like a free two. Death Touch Menace. I think his hand is too bad. We have a card that we very much cannot cast, and then we have. I think I can do better. Okay. Um. I wish I could keep this, but I guess this hand doesn't want me to keep that card. It's a pretty good card on a Mulligan. Behold the Unspeakable. Yeah. Now, now, now we can at least. Uh, Equip the, the aura here. Have a target for Twisted Embrace. Oh, yeah, this, this card is kind of rough. The frog doesn't go away. Okay. The frog does not go away when this dies. So if they have an enchantment here, I'm, I'm dead. I'm not coming back. Ever. I mean, maybe. It's kind of rough that everything has free toughness and this is just a dead card. I can play this on five. That's good enough. Take five. Next turn I'll take. Uh, a lot of damage. Six, eight damage, go to seven. Yeah, this was a runaway game. I didn't really do anything until turn four and I'm on a draw. happens that's lethal yeah <clears throat> okay the lethal exploit didn't look great there. It's dead in my hand. Usually when you have like a cheap removal like that, you would think that your opponent couldn't kill you so easily, but they were pretty resilient against that one in that draw. But I mean, a two mana minus two minus two is a reasonable rate and it has the upside of 
When you have modified creature, you get to kill bigger things. It seems like a decent card to me. But in the game before, we also had to double kill a 4-4 with it. And we just don't have any modified creatures. That's the problem, I guess. We have the kunai. That's the one thing we do have. Rabbit battery. Um, I guess the crap. Maybe this one. It's a little too far off. A red deck. Maybe just, yeah, maybe don't be greedy. Don't be greedy, you know. Just put away the card you can't cast. Okay. Reactor. Good on turn two, I suppose. Uh, so it's exploit or crap. I'm going to play this here and then this. Pretty good turn. Pretty good curve out what we have. Uh, I think it's going to be the crap then. So for 4 mana I can sack this and it shoots damage equal to the amount of counters to a creature and the player of that creature. Kind of clunky of a card. But of course on turn 2 if you just play a bunch of artifacts it will deal a lot of damage at some point. But you can also blow it up with the various destruction effects. Which we in blue black do not have. But yeah, anyways. I'm gonna play the Kami here. Attack for one. Ooh. Scry and exile the top card. You may play it when you exile an online card this way. It's damage equal to the exiled card's mana value to any target. Oof. Wow, that's impressive. Um, hmm. Will. So I'll attack all because I really want him to block. Like I, I feel like I, with this thing on the battlefield, I'm the one that's behind here. I think. I gotta, I gotta make moves. This, this is beautiful. We love to see that. We could return the modern age. I suppose that's a good idea. I could also return the trash board. Could let these two try. No, I'm gonna do this, right? Yeah, I guess I'll. Hmm. I kind of like the flyer, you know? But it's just so fitting to play it this turn again. It really slows me down with the flyer, though. It's a sad part. I could just return this. Lethal exploit, but then Toshiro doesn't do anything. I could lethal exploit that and then kill this afterwards, I guess. Alright, fine. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I have a plan now. So. Draw a card, please. Now we play this. Kill that off. Now I can play trash. No, I can't play trash, but right. I'll just pass. But we have the Toshiro again, so I can kill the rabbit battery. Um, and then hopefully I can uh, Toshiro the Simeon. Sling. Put the minus one, minus one again, and then we get rid of both. 
that's the plan. Aha. Uh -huh. Hello. I I have that cut too. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Ooh. Make a stop. Okay, so I can kill this now, and then I get Hidetsuko back. I mean, say what? <sighs> Yikes. It comes into play untapped too. Like, what the heck? Maybe they make me discard. <sighs> so if I do this, you think they're gonna make me discard? Nah, they're just gonna get hit. To, nah, they're gonna get hit to go back, of course. Who are we kidding? This is still a one four. <laughs> um. Playing behold. No attacks. Can I beat the Hidetsugo? It's just gonna start shooting down all my creatures. Can I beat the dragon? I'll play this now. I won't get to empty my hand, that's for sure. Maybe I can beat the Hidetsugo if I empty my hand. Yeah, maybe I can, but I don't think I can beat this. So I have to kill it. They can make me discard. We'll get the Hidetsugo. I mean, I'm l I would love a discard here. They're thinking about it. Wow. Beautiful. No, I'm not gonna draw. I have the best card in my hand, I'm not gonna draw. If you have one or fewer cards in hand... So you literally gotta play this as your last card in hand, because when this chapter triggers the second one, I will have two cards in my hand. Annoying. Do, so do I want to play this first so I get to draw four? Probably not, honestly. Probably just play this now. Get it out of there, you know. Don't waste any more time. Scry two, draw two is, is good enough. You know, like, I'm, I'm a sucker for value. I want to get all out of it. But uh, you just... It's just unnecessary. Uh, I should put a stop though, in case we draw an instant. And then we can play that. Mm -hmm. Wow, kind of funny. We have, we have more artifacts. Then we have, oh, I kind of like both in a way. Maybe not, maybe not this. Ooh, hey. <laughs> yeah, they have the reactor up. Ooh, they gotta be careful if they wanna use the reactor. Okay. Um, sure. <laughs> How do you like that? How do you like a taste of your own medicine? What do creatures do we have? Kami. Ooh, we have Naomi. Hehe, <laughs> nice. Is it legendary? Non dragon. Okay, so it's everything besides non dragon. Non dragon is the condition. So you can't go infinite with two of them. Infinite. 
All right, all right, two and one, nice. Decent, decent. Not having any trouble having enchantments on the board. Yeah, this 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 artifact creature. Mm -mm, I don't. I'm I'm not a fan. It's again was it like a one four in this game. We had lots of things trading. Mm -mm, not a fan. Not at all. Reward. Cool. So kick that one out for grave lighter. Maybe or what else? Paper decoy. Second kunai. Or Blade Blesser. I kind of like that card. Menace. Let's try it. How many artifacts do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Hmm. Maybe I need an artifact. Decoy, Kunai. How many creatures? 12, 13, 14. Um. Um, could play the brute suit. Pfft. Yeah, maybe maybe the maybe the trash pot is just fine. <laughs> uh maybe it's just fine. I don't know. The artifact selection is not good. I would play a decoy, but I already have so many two drops. So I want to have something a little bit more impactful than a decoy. And we don't have like any shenanigans with sacrifice going on, so that card's kind of worse. On the play, we have eight black sources. Ah, uh, no. Interesting. Guess it's the crab. Like them all, huh? Hmm, this is tough. Should I just discard the octopus? Don't play a free drop here. Octopus is looking medium on this board state. Huh. It's tough. I really want the lands. You could discard a land. That seems a little greedy. Takami, I can't discard Takami. I think I, this is weird, but I gotta do that, I think. Yeah, I could take a gamble and discard a land, but I don't love the idea of that. And discarding the Behold, uh, well, it's so gross, it's so good. Creature to a trick here. <laughs> Stop the entire board. I'm not going to attack. If they have like the f two mana deal four, they just kill my vector glider. Don't want them to use the mana there. Next time we can equip so we are protected against any tricks. Three, four. 
Nice. Wow. Okay. Huh. I wonder. I wonder if I should just play this so I have the ability up before I play this one. I kind of like that. I'm not going to be able to attack any ways next turn, probably because of the death touch creature. I don't have a modified creature. I could attack, but I don't think I want to trade one for two right now. My opponent's clearly the aggro deck here. Um. <clears throat> I don't want to sack this because I kind of need it right now. I don't f think I'm using this right now, am I? No, I just play this. I still don't have a modified creature. I do have one modified creature, yes. Yes, I'm playing this. Got to be careful of the vision here. Don't want to make it too small. These commies, they look so weird. No, nothing. <clears throat> I mean, no, 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 no. Let's just attack with these two. I'm not gonna attack with this. Just, yeah, I just have too many. Like, I can't. I have multiple tricks. I have this, but okay, gets reach. Whenever you discard a card, you may excel that card. Um, so it's a seven eight with reach. We could use two removals on it, two lethals, then I would keep my vision. Okay, I guess. They have another trick. Things happened. We are out of artifacts. Never mind. Moth. Two four. Death touch. Wondering if I should do something with this. No, I'm just gonna do nothing. I shouldn't have played this. That was a punt. No, I did tap this anyway, so I didn't get punished. Um, I mean, I guess I want to get more aggressive here. All right, fine. If they if they tap. 
in the combat phase if they make that play i'm gonna accept block this block there all right i'm not attacking with the two two then like they can just block there and double block there yeah no this doesn't have a good block exactly um <clears throat> I messed up playing this. That was unnecessary, was it? No, it was, I needed to play it to get the 2-2, two, two, I guess, in the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, play perfectly. Play perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. <laughs> Three and one. Nice. Yeah, this, 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 this enchantment, black, the synergy stuff, I like that. I like that. Enchantments, artifacts, you get value. It's good stuff. Um, I'm thinking maybe maybe I actually play the Sentinel. Maybe I have enough stuff to crew it. It's a pretty big thing. Yeah, let's try it. I could also play the Disruptor, the one mana one one. I could also play another Kunai. Maybe that's just the best option. Kunai is just good, especially like it helps modify my stuff. Yeah, maybe it's the Kunai actually. Yeah. It's modify, it helps with the artifact stuff. It's super cheap, so you can like curve out easily. Played it some sometime turn one. This hand seems pretty alright. Black white into mythic removal. Yeah, this is just a fairly good card. It's an artifact. Enable to synergies. It's colorless, so you're always gonna play it. It's just not great in like a super aggressive deck, I guess. But if you're like mid-rangey or yeah, this card's just good. The the leaves, the battlefield is also nice. Like you can fl blinker, uh, flink the uh, flink it. <laughs> you can blink this. You can flicker it. <laughs> flicker or blink, not flink. <laughs> Mariadoc, isn't that from Lord of the Rings? Pippin and Mariadoc, Mary. No ninjutsu. No ninjutsu. I think I'm just gonna kill this. I don't know, it just enabled ninjutsu. Opponent has something? I want to wait until... Spell pierce. Alright. Spellpiece is not a card you should mean deck. It's just it's a very dead draw in the late game and decks are usually filled with creatures. Hmm. I mean I guess you have a lot of artifacts and sagas and vehicles. And I guess Spellpius does have some targets in this format that other normal formats that wouldn't have so many sagas. Wouldn't have so many, you know. Yeah, I'll play I'll play I'll play this one, right? Like I could play these two, but I don't have a creature right now, but the, 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 if they kill it, they're gonna have to discard cards. Awkward if they would find a way to tap it, for example. We'll see. All right. Beat my dragon here. Am I playing against a mono blue deck, huh? Whoa, they discarded Protocon? Oh, nice. Definitely killing that ASAP. Oh, 
five uh, options now. They just use the O4 to crew. <laughs> Fancy. This is flying. Poor dragon. Poor dragon has a short circuit. Okay, I don't know how that's possible, but... Oh, I can return to my hand, huh? I suppose I'll do that. Maybe not this turn. This brood is a little annoying. I'm just gonna kill the brutal thing. <clears throat> maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done what I just did. I don't know. Maybe I should just. Oh, interesting. They're not even attacking me. Weird. Spooky, <laughs> very spooky. Yeah, annoying. Okay, now oh, they can hit me for f six. No, I can hit me for five. Uh, maybe I should have played this. It's pretty bad against bounce, I guess. It's pretty bad against a lot of things, actually. I should have just played the Naomi, yeah. Naomi would have been safer. That was stupid. That was definitely stupid, yeah. Yeah, I should have just played Naomi. It's not like we're dying, but yeah. Pun could have dealt us one more damage, no? Didn't want to. I guess they wanted to keep the blocker back for the 2 1, makes sense. <clears throat> All right, stabilizing here, slowly but surely. first what about this <clears throat> and then this on the 2-1 
two two, I guess. Then we attack with the Naomi. Let's see what my opponent's up to. Um. <clears throat> Now the question is, do you want to let them block? Probably not. Your turn. An island. Ooh, okay. I crew two. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, I guess. Sorry, not sorry. Um <clears throat> Do I mill them? No. I can cycle this end of turn if I want to. GG <clears throat> Mono Blue, huh? Mono blue artifacts. Yeah. Pun's playing reasonable cards. Yeah, this format is just cluttered with playables. So, if you if your color is open, you can just go mono blue. Sure. Um, you also get the payoff if you get the one of the platinum. If you get one of the the four quadruple blue, white, whatever sorceries or instance, the five drops, the rares. I mean, uh, you actually get get a reason to draft monocolored. Although, in my last draft that I did here on YouTube, we had the, the quadruple green card and the red green deck. It was amazing. Um, I think you can do it in, in, in two color decks as well. Yeah, I mean, you, you, gotta, you gotta take the price that you won't be able to cast on turn five every time. But if you have some mana fixing and so on, I mean, I would certainly lean towards at least playing the green one. Which the green one is just absurdly good and it doesn't need any conditions. Ah, this hand is slow, and we're on the draw. Oof, but it's powerful. If my opponent goes one, two, three, four, pff, I'm not gonna win with this hand. I have a lot of cheap cards in my deck. I have like six ish, three drops, six ish, seven ish, two drops. So that's 13 cards. That's like 30% 30, 30 of my deck that I can draw in three draw steps. I mean, the, the chances of me drawing something cheap is reasonably high. So I think I'm gonna keep. I have two of my best cards in my hand. Junji, Assassin's Inc. If I draw a cheap artifact or a cheap enchantment, this will cost this will be my free drop too. So Okay. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. We get to kill that. Sweet. Mill free. We can get a Saproling. Spell return type permanent E. Not like that. Long reach night. Okay. 
not bad. Oh, you get this back. Sure. And this itself is just a 2 1 menace. It's an annoying creature, I guess. But I don't want to use a removal, do I? No. That was a decent turn by the opponent, though. Decent turn. Pretty decent. Green black graveyard shenanigans. And this destroys. Hmm. Doesn't seem that good. Doesn't seem that good of a card. Fall of Conda. Exile. Target creature and opponent controls. Aha. Uh -huh. But it's it cost white and I didn't make a land drop here. So that's my hope, I suppose. Okay, let's start with this one. Discard the island likely. Nice, 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 nice. We need an artifact though. We need an artifact. My opponent... Sure, I kind of got punished, I gotta say, maybe for not tapping my two islands there. Yeah. If I play a swamp, I won't have a card next turn to discard. That was maybe a little too fast. It's also not that easy to choose what what to kill here. It probably is the four four. Three two minutes is good too, though. All right, just don't draw white, I guess, and we're good. Uh, it attacks, I c you can either make a 1-1 one, one by targeting a creature card in a graveyard or give a 1 plus 1 quarter on any creature you control. Well, okay. We have multiple shrines. There's my artifact. There's another artifact. Um... This destroys toughness, right? Okay. This will just be eaten here. This destroys toughness. Racing, racing situation, yeah. Guess I'll just kill that. Pun's at eight. Just attack like that. Nice, nice, nice. Love that. Love that. Play this. Guess we don't want to trade, I suppose. Even though I would draw a card, but I don't want to lose an artifact. All right, they never drew green, uh, white, which, I mean, if they now draw white, okay. But we have another two free flying here that kills you. This has reach, no trample, nothing has reach. So the flyer kills the opponent. Oh, yeah, even attacking with that, oh, that's what's really interesting, makes sense. Because I won't block. Double block of these. They killed that artifact. Alright, I guess my opponent didn't have an answer for the flyer. Sweet. Five and one. Easy. Nice. But my opponent had a cool deck. Multiple shrines. She get multiple shrines going? Things get pretty crazy quickly, right? If you have like three shrines, you can shoot down creatures. You can put free counters on the on the snake shrine. If you have the white shrine, you make free one ones for just one mana. I mean one mana each of these abilities end of turn. If you just have two shrines, it's already good. I wonder how good the four mana two two death touch is. Depends on your opponent I suppose, but it doesn't seem that great. 
This hand is a mulligan. Cut this one. Hmm. Maybe I wasn't meant to play this. So I actually want cards in my hand to discard the modern age. Ooh. I think I'm discarding this. Poof, it's like an unconditional removal. Am I discarding this? <gasps> no way, right? Can't discard that value. Discard Mender. Discard Kami. <sighs> oh, that, that's why maybe don't play the Kunai, you know? I actually want to discard the Kunai. Oh, I hate this decision. I hate it so much. Can I just keep <laughs> something? <laughs> Uh, maybe I discard a Kami. Maybe I discard the Embrace. I have a lot of removal in my deck. But I'm playing against a green white deck. There's removal is pretty good against green white usually. Maybe it's the Kami. Oh, it hurts. It hurts a lot to do this. Oh, it can't be right, honestly. To just discard a 2 for 1, 3 4 creature. Just does not feel right. Okay, I'm just going to the island. I'm greedy. I'm drawing a card here for the mender. <clears throat> yeah, maybe maybe I should have just discarded the embrace. It's double black too, I suppose. What's this? One plus one for each land. It's like a Ren and Seven elemental token. I guess I'm fine trading. Uh, this is insane, actually, because this is leave the battlefield. So thank you for not blocking. Get, getting punished for not playing that, <clears throat> for discarding the land. Uh, could I could the kunai here, I suppose. I'll do so. I'm not planning to sack the treasure, I think. Oh, by the way, look at this treasure. Wow. Incredible. <clears throat> oh, wow. Another one. Two more forests. Two of them is a, is a problem. No lands for me. Yeah, yeah. I guess I could kill both and attack. Kind of like that, honestly. And then the question is, do I want to use the treasure or do I want to use the kunai? Probably the treasure. So I get the two damage in. I have the bolt later on. It's going to cost only one mana. <clears throat> All right. So this turn we can play Embrace, kill one off. Ooh, nice deck opponent, nice deck. Has like, okay. Reach. Hmm. Everything is Reach over there. Annoying. And we are just not drawing any lands. Um. Uh -oh. 
The thief, the thief, the thief, the thief. Probably not attacking. Yeah, next turn I have a big reach creature. I got free mana. It's not looking good. I need to draw my other removal spell. Yeah, I'm not blocking that thing. Uh, what? Modified creature you can draw. Hexproof, trample. Hexproof? Hexproof is on untap. Trample two? Eight mana? For each modified creature? It's one modified creature, is seven mana, eight, eight? Hexproof untapped. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. We've entered the conceding stage of the game, I think. I'm just not able to keep up with all this. It says trample. If I play this next turn, maybe I have a chance. Not really. Not really. <laughs> Gonna take a hit for eight here, go to eleven. Just turn around. <laughs> I mean we just didn't do enough these games. This game just couldn't really get going. Yeah, I discarded Ireland, it was crucial. I mean in the end I guess I should have discarded the behold, huh? Behold was terrible. If I had an island over the Behold, this game would have gone differently. That was greedy. That was greedy. Uh -um. Perhaps I should have shot this in response, huh? Yeah, that was a mistake. I should have killed this. If I do this, they're just gonna kill my flyer. Do this, I'll take casual twelve. Five, six, eight, kill that off. This, this thing doesn't do anything. Procedure next turn. I have no blockers. You know what? I'm go I'm going to the next game. I'm not this game's done. Five and two, all right. Greedy Anna got punished for discarding land. It's the lesson there. Yeah. I mean, I could have just disc. I don't know why this. Why did I do that? Yeah. Oh man, I got so punished for that. I never drew a land again. I don't know, that was just a punt. That was just a punt, I think, yeah. There's like not much justification for that. It's easy to say in hindsight, I suppose, if I were just on two, two lands off the top, I would have never complained about my my greediness. But in that situation, um, when I have a five drop and I don't have a fourth land, it just doesn't make any sense what I did. It doesn't make any sense. Um, I should have either, I, did, I drew one of these, I think. Could have discarded that. Or did I? I'm not quite sure, but yeah. If I if I drew one of these, I should have just discarded that. I think I did. I can go back in the video, I suppose, later on. Nice. Love love to see a one toughness flyer. Two for one.
What? Oops. Alright, oopsie. I don't know what I was thinking. Whatever. Efficient use of mana, I gotta say. One drop, two drop first. No artifacts to discard, just lands. Now is the opportunity to kill that, I guess. If I want to. But it's also a nice opportunity to play the Kami. Ay -ya -ya, ya -ya. It's growing bigger and bigger. Though. I don't have a thing to discard with the Modern Age, though. I could just discard a land, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. All right, I think it's it's a good moment to to take and kill that off. Um <clears throat> mm, greedy is back. I mean, I do have a bunch of plays, so Next turn, play Sentinel, likely. It's a little annoying. Like if they're doing this, I'm gonna play Kami, I guess. Uh, let's cut this, probably. Maybe the Sentinel. Bounce that, please. We're establishing order again. Chunk can, can attack for a decent amount back here. Um, so they're gonna get a one free chumper. Later on, they're gonna get a two four. They're gonna attack me for free in the air again. Sure could kill that off. Um, basically this. This provides the most pressure. And an artifact as well. I think I think I'm gonna go with the Kami though. Hmm. It's close, I don't know. It's close. I could just. Well, yeah, the, the pro, if I start out by drawing two, then I have to play this, otherwise, this won't draw a card. And I'm kind of locked into doing. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play the Kami. I'm gonna draw some cards with the sphere. Yep, yep, yep. Value shouldn't be an issue here. It's about me not dying. 
against their flyers. Well, I'm, I'm going to 9 and they just have a 2-4 flyer that doesn't even attack next turn. It's not like I'm dying soon. Maybe I should have just been a little bit more aggressive. They, they also have a 2-3. I don't know. Yeah, this is... Maybe maybe this was too conservative. Whatever I was thinking, I don't know. Getting free additional power. On I guess the first is going to jump there anyways. But yeah. Um, so I want to play an artifact pre-combat. Um. <clears throat> just has nothing going on. They just got a two more lands. Double block. Okay. <clears throat> All right, it's nice that these have vigilance. I don't need to worry about holding anything back. Yep. Can't crew anymore, right? Hmm. Four for flyer. It's kind of good here. So I have. Four, five, eight. Kunai. Hmm. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. So I could crew this. I could just play this first. Yeah. And then basically, they almost don't have any power anymore. Crew here. I guess they're just gonna chump with this. Could theoretically attack with everything. Um, then they're gonna block this there, this there, this there, this there. I mean, it doesn't really do anything. I guess I'll. I guess I'll just crew. And then until my end next turn, yeah. And do I attack with this? Doesn't make sense, right? They're just gonna block with the moth. Which I don't really yeah, it doesn't matter. We have a second one in our deck, which is nice. We have also the dragon still. We have both our removals still left. I have six, eight, ten lands, eleven lands, six more lands, and eleven good, most mostly good cards. Lots of good stuff still left. Another land, five lands left. How many modified? I guess I could get another modify here if I want to. And then we have minus four, minus four of the kunai. It's a lot of mana. This would cost me five. This would cost me two to equip. I have nine mana. Seven, nine would exactly work out. Um, but this card is kind of underwhelming here. It's not that great. I think I'm fine. I, yeah, I'll take that one though. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I should have put it on there. <laughs> Put on top, bottom, bottom. 
Six, sweet. Should have lethal next turn, somehow, some way, probably. Oh, yeah. I mean, we definitely have to leave for the next turn if they don't do anything. Can I still activate? Unless they're mana abilities. It's activated abilities. I'm sure Crypt Creature has. Yeah, I think this this won't work. Like, Naomi won't be able to activate the Kunai, I think. That won't work. Nope. Okay, a little dangerous, huh? And life gain too. So, okay. Huh. Alright, alright, alright. Making things interesting. On that? Not on the lifelinker? Weird. Mm hmm. Okay, wow. Wow, why not on a life link curve? What am I missing? You could have gained five life? Huh? What? Why wouldn't you put all that on the life link curve? It doesn't make any sense. Now you're just dead. What? That was weird. That was so weird. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I even have the kunai on the battlefield, so you know this won't survive. Very, very weird, anyways. Um. This card is very, very good. Very, very good. I mean, it depends a little bit on your deck. But <laughs> you're already getting a 1-mana equip 1, 2 plus 0 effect, which is pretty good equipment. Um, Bone Splitter, if anyone remembers or has played in the past. It's a, it's a welcome in any aggro deck, of course. Um, but with this one, I mean, I uh, if you have like a life linking creature, if you have, there's lots of life link running around. If you have first strike, flying, flying on that thing, or well, life link is man, incredibly good. Um, yeah. On the draw, yeah, I'm keeping. I guess not happy about this card. Green reds. Sure. Huh. Just kill that. Playing this. Uh, I guess I can loot this one away then. I could just play this as a block, I suppose. Okay. It's annoying. No more blocks for me then. Okay, that's good. Oops.
It has flying. Which is kind of crucial. And it can attack. Oh, I see, I see. Does this works with ninjutsu? Hey, hey. That's kind of nice. Let's make it work then. Ahem. <clears throat> Hmm, so this is gonna be bigger, 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 for free. All right. I will keep up my removal then. Opponent, no, I'll take the free. And I probably know what's going on here, right? The way I'm playing this. They don't even have a land. Hmm. Well, in that case, I would have played the Goshen die. Maybe they're slow rolling the land. I mean, that would be a pretty impressive play. Okay, I can just play this, attack, and then hmm. I could also thief it in. This will not do much, and then play this afterwards. I kind of like that. <clears throat> and then if they play like one creature and pump it up, we can destroy that and get in for a lot of damage, get two triggers here. We're really snowballing out of control of these creatures. Yeah, we can also pump them up to make them attack. Looking great, looking great. My opponent kind of needs a removal, yeah. Cheap burn would be what they want. But they also want to play a creature right now because that creature will be bigger. Death touch. Yeah, I guess I gotta kill it. Can't pump my things up to get through it. I mean, it would just trade, which I don't want, so. I guess they have one removal here, huh? Just sitting on a removal. No, 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 no! Holy moly, no! I didn't, I didn't even click the card. I was like, I was just hovering it. Oh god, that was terrible. And we're playing for seven wins too. Oh my god. I was just hovering it. I was. Oh, I, I wanted to cast it for two blue. Oh, I was, I wasn't even ready to do anything. I was just. Oh, God. Oh, horrible. They clearly have a removal here. This was so bad. Oh. What I should have done here, should have just played... I don't know, maybe this. No, mm, no. Because now if I play this and target a thing, they're just going to kill my thing. It's so likely. It's just exactly what's going to happen. I needed the removal. I guess I'm doing this. This destroys anything, right? Artifact or enchantment. This card is kind of gross. Oh my god, this has just gone horribly wrong. I need to kill that. I need to kill that desperately. Now they're gonna kill this. Oh, now they're gonna attack me and then they destroy another thing. Oh my god, that's so disgusting. Oh no, 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 no. Not like this, Anna, not like this. Man. Just threw the game away. Just threw the game away. Wow. <laughs> stupid, 
stupid misclick. Obviously never happens in real life. And you have another voltage surge, of course. Yeah, why not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, makes total sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna destroy that. Yeah. Yeah, you're having fun over there. Yeah. Sorry for my frustration, guys, but this is just stupid. That should not have happened. I guess I can do. Death touch is gone. They have a nice looking deck, but I mean, this game was just. Oh. If a source would die via damage, it gets exiled. Gross. So if they have a combat trick here, they can just attack and get me. I just gotta hope they have nothing, basically. Like. Not even a big creature, because that would get haste and extra counter. Yeah, so that's so game deciding, Jesus Christ. One doesn't seem to have something, do they? Okay. Good. They have still two cards in hand, though. It's making me wonder a little bit what's going on over there. But they don't seem to have any removal or any pump, so that's good news. Huh. I guess we'll just play the, the hacker. And pass with the removal up. <clears throat> they could have the indestructible protection thing. I could have also played this, but then I I will get hit by that thing, unfortunately. So they can just make this a six seven if they draw land. Or six eight. Well, then I can double block, I guess. <clears throat> well, anyways. It's disgusting. That's pretty disgusting. I'm double blocking this thing and killing that. And my dragon's gonna get exiled. Yeah, what can I do? Nothing. No triggers. <clears throat> I mean, I can jump block, I guess. That does not seem right, though. No. Pawns down to one card. One counter there. Alright, I guess it doesn't look doesn't look too bad, I guess. Okay. I mean, definitely winnable. This game would have been much, much easier though if I would have played better. Let's, let's, let's hope my artifact survives. Let's hope they don't have another 6-5 trample. But I guess at least we could trade against that. Oh. oh shoot. They really had it. Yeah. 
I think this game was an easy win if I don't mess up. Not an easy win, I mean, but like... This should not have gone like this. Okay, I guess I'll attack here. Theoretically, discard this, play these two. Have a double block. I can also discard this, play this. There's a 4 4 chump here. I think I'm just going to do that. Ahem. <clears throat> I mean, if double block won't work, of course, I get a chump block soon. We have one more removal in our deck. That That's going to be unconditional. I have some couple draws here. That has a 6-6, six, six. yep. <clears throat> we can attack again. Do it one more time. Ooh. Oopsie, I mistapped. So if I play this, I can triple block. If they just have one land. Sure. I'm playing the lands because of Behold. Just hoping I draw some lands off the top here. I feel like they drew a spell. Maybe not. Maybe they're just th thinking if they want to attack. I mean, they can't attack. They cannot attack if they... Drew a removal. This is really a tight game. Here for the final. Is it good or is it bad that you're thinking so long? It's good, right? It's good for us. Yeah, I love that. Nice. Well, we're even going to empty our hand here, huh? So opponents... But what does the opponent have? It doesn't play any lands anymore. Isn't that a little weird? I'm not playing any lands because... I mean... It looks like my opponent's lands, you know? Like what what else what else would they have? We're down to fifteen cards in our deck too. Um Sure. Ah they drew that, okay. And now they have a target, makes sense. And a land. Six eight. I have eight power. Ha, <laughs> the crap. Whew, okay. Eight eight. <laughs> we have a hard removal in our deck though. Um I don't want to play lands anymore, but if I don't play lands. I won't have, have the minus two minus two up. I don't think I'll need that though. I don't want to play lands because of the behold. I'm just going to throw everything at this if this attacks me. Every single creature. Huh. I guess if they have a fight spell and a land, then I regret not keeping up the lethal exploit. It's all right. I mean, it's going to be fine. I can just jump block with the two one. Nine nine, Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh, slightly modified etching of Kumano. 
slightly. Whew. Well, are we turning this around? I think so. If I just do this, I have 11 power. They have like 3 plus 3. I'll just put everything, whatever. Don't care. Um <clears throat> I also have another Naomi, right? Second one. What is that? Oh shoot. They got me. They got my entire board. Oh my god, because I didn't keep up the stupid lethal. Oh my god, I'm lucky though I drew this. But yeah, okay, okay, I guess. That was a mistake, I suppose. Wow. Oh, crazy. Shit, if I would have kept up this exploit. Well, okay. We're looking good, though. We're looking good. The point has nothing going on. We have a good board state. We have 7 power, 2 turns lethal. We have minus 3, minus 3 here. Wow. Man, crazy games. Whew. Wow. I was like confused for a second. I haven't seen this card before. I have, but not in a while. It wasn't in a pack that I opened. Whatever. Um, looks like we're winning. Gonna kill. And oh, wait a minute. I could just attack for six in the air. Good game. Ooh, <laughs> wow, wow. That was, uh, boy, my mistake. Uh, but luckily, it didn't cost me in the end. That was a crazy game. Wow, I love that. That was that was uh, that was intense. Whew. All right. Well, that's gonna be it for my second draft here. Whew. I need I need some I need a little bit of a break after that one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, if you like the, the limited content, let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.